Hello everyone, welcome to Tenorshare channel. Okay, let's be real. This whole liquid glass thing, Apple dropped with iOS 26 looks amazing in the promo videos. It's shiny, it's modern, it makes your lock screen and control center feel all futuristic. At first you're like, wow, Apple really nailed the design this time. But after a few days, the honeymoon ends. Notifications are suddenly harder to read, especially if you've got a bright wallpaper. Your battery? Gone way faster than before. And if you're rocking an older iPhone man, it feels like you're holding a pocket heater. So yeah, liquid glass is pretty, but it's also a pain. Now the good news is, Apple actually gave us ways to tone it down. Here's what you can do. First, head into settings on your iPhone, scroll down into accessibility, then tap on display and text size. Here you'll see an option called reduce transparency. Turn that on and boom, the blur effect is gone. Notifications and menus look way sharper and suddenly you can actually read what's on your screen. But if you still want to keep that liquid glass vibe without going blind, there's another trick. Same place, accessibility, display and text size. But this time, tap on increase contrast. That way, the design stays, but everything just pops more. And here's a little pro tip. This only works on iPhone 15 Pro and newer models. Open setting app on your iPhone. Jump into the action button settings. Then you need to scroll all the way to the right until you find the accessibility option and set increase contrast as your shortcut. Then you can switch liquid glass on or off with a single press. Super handy. Now, here's the thing. If you're on an older iPhone, for example, the iPhone 11 series or the iPhone XR, even with these tweaks, iOS 26 just doesn't play nice. It drains your battery, makes the phone run hot, and slows things down. Honestly, the best fix is to downgrade back to iOS 18. And the easiest way to do that is with Reiboot. Reiboot is trusted by millions of users worldwide, and it lets you downgrade in literally one click, no tech headaches, no risk of messing up your phone. Plus, it's not just for downgrades. You can do one-click iOS repairs if your phone gets stuck and even back up your whole device in seconds. So yeah, liquid glass might look cool, but if it's killing your battery and making your phone overheat, now you know your options. If you found this helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more iOS tips, and let me know in the comments, are you keeping liquid glass or are you ready to ditch it? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.